Hello. I didn't see you there. Better. So now we're going to show you two videos in performance under the cherry blossoms so you can get a really Japanese experience. It's almost as if you're peeking from backstage. Uh, one will be male style and one will be female style. And you know, we do dance to the poetry sometimes instead of to the music, always to the music. So let me show you a couple of things. One is the blooming flower. So they say Ayane, which means the iris. And sakura, which means, you can tell me what it means. It means cherry blossom, right? And then we're going to raise the sail because after all, we are on a lake. And we're in the boat. And then, you know, if someone points to their nose in Japanese classical dance, it means me or I. And point to the nose. So, and this is me and you. And me, shy. So, this is me and you in the boat. So, this is the stern of the boat. It's down here. And the prow of the boat. We're floating along on Lake Ita in the province of Dejima. So the title of the dance is actually an address.
song of the same name. It's called Kuroda Bushi or Samurai of the Kuroda Clan. The dancer also uses a fan just like in the last dance and uses another prop besides. What kind of prop is being used? The dance is based on a real person, Mori Tahe. So if you Google Kuroda Bushi, you probably will find a good story. Enjoy. Well, we hope you enjoyed our performances. I hope you got all the questions right. And we hope to see you next year in person. Good night.